Everybody wants to live in the Woodlands, Texas, but not everybody wants to overpay for an outdated home. So the question is, where do you go? Well, there's a handful of master plan communities that offer a ton of amazing amenities right around the Woodlands, but most of them are gonna be further north, further away from downtown, and further away from the airport. But there's one that isn't. So today, we're gonna be exploring Woodson's Reserve, which is a 700 acre master plan community located just off Highway 99, 10 minutes from the Woodlands with great accessibility in and around the Houston area. And when comparing this master plan community to all of the others that we've covered, I have to say, this one is in that top tier. It just feels more luxurious than a lot of the others. So let's dive in. Woodson's Reserve is going to be a 700 acre development developed by Toll Brothers. And if you're not familiar with Toll Brothers, they're actually one of the country's nicest builders. They build great products, which we're actually gonna get you inside of later in today's video. So we're actually up at their amenity center, and this is a 9,000 square foot building that's dedicated to residents of the community. You can actually scroll through all of this past year's neighborhood events just to get an idea for how much stuff they actually have going on. At this community center, you actually have a 24 seven gym, and this gym's bigger than a lot of the gyms that we've seen in other communities that we've toured. And then they're gonna have basketball courts and tennis courts. They've got dog parks in the neighborhood as well. Miles and miles of paved hiking trails. They have stocked fishing ponds that are really good size. At this same amenity center, they are going to have their pool. And this pool actually checks a lot of boxes, especially for parents. It's got a beach entry. You're also gonna have a sun shelf, and then it's got a lazy river, and they've got a lap pool. And right next to the pool, you're actually gonna have what they call a tot spot, which is a place for the kids to hang out. It's effectively a playground. But the playgrounds out here are not lacking at all. Every single park has its own theme to it. There's even a pirate ship park. Every single day of the week, you could take your kids to a new park and there's not many neighborhoods that I can say that about. And they did a cool job of really tying them into the nature component. You can tell that they've replanted a lot. This has some of the best landscaping I've seen in any of the master planned communities. The one that's located up here at the amenity center, it actually had a putt-putt course. So just a single hole, but I was very surprised and very excited because I actually haven't seen that in any other neighborhood so far. If I could pick amenities from any neighborhood that we've covered in the entire Houston area and put them back in my neighborhood, I would say that this neighborhood's in the top two or three out of any that we've covered in all of Houston. Part of a neighborhood isn't just what's inside of the neighborhood, but it's how close are you to other things that make living here exceptionally convenient. Right at the entrance of this neighborhood is one of the biggest commercial shopping centers really in the entire area. You can walk here, drive your golf cart here, got an HEB grocery store, a Kroger grocery store, and if that's not enough for you, you also have a Walmart. And when we were picking where to film this because we're hungry, there weren't just multiple restaurants to choose from, there were literally multiple pizza places to choose from. And similar to the pizza place, they have a ton of different coffee options too. They've got Summer Moon Coffee, which is probably one of my favorite coffee shops. We have one at the front of my neighborhood but they still have your Starbucks, and then they also have Trilogy Brew, which is a local coffee shop. And there's no shortage of fast food options either. You've got Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, Sonic, Smoothie King, and the list goes on. They literally have an IV infusion place next door, which could work out if you go to one of those neighborhood events and stay a little too long. And if you're in the movies, you have a movie theater located directly at the front of this neighborhood. And one of the reasons that there's so much to offer right here at the front of Woodson's Reserve is because it's located on Highway 99. Highway 99 is the new outer toll road. It's that third loop. And that's where really all of the growth and development is happening here in the Houston area. This location's incredible because you're 10 minutes to the Woodlands. You can be at Market Street for a drink or to have dinner and be back here very quickly. And then if you do need to commute in and out of downtown, you have the Hardy Toll Road, which is probably the best toll road in the Houston area. There's never traffic on it. And you also have Interstate 45. So if you're sick of paying those tolls, you can just use, once again, one of the larger freeways here in the Houston area to get to downtown. And if you do need to commute for work for the airport, you're very close to Bush Intercontinental Airport. You're only about 22 minutes away. So it doesn't get much closer to be in such a robust neighborhood. Now my food's getting cold and I'm hungry and we still have a lot to show you, including inside some amazing homes. But before we do that, if this this is your first time checking out our channel subscribe tap that bell for notifications that way we can keep you updated on what's actually going on here in houston my name is kyler ferris and our team gets calls and texts emails every single day from people like you that are looking to move to houston so if that is you don't be shy we always say give us a call shoot us a text send us a quick email that way we can actually help you make a smooth move right here to houston texas 
One of the highest priorities for most people that are looking to relocate here to Houston is gonna be the opportunity to send their kids to really highly rated public schools. And that is gonna be the case if you live in Woodson's Reserve. Not only do you get great A rated schools, but they're actually located inside of the neighborhood. Starting in elementary school, in kindergarten, you have the opportunity to walk your kids to school or they can ride their bikes. They've got the little bike racks over there up to Heinz Elementary School. But when they go to fifth and sixth grade, it doesn't end there. When they go to Clark Intermediate, they're gonna still have that opportunity because the school is also in the neighborhood. Now, York Junior High for seventh and eighth grade is actually gonna be in the neighborhood right next door, which is still connected. So you can actually still ride your bikes there. And then last but not least, Grand Oaks High School, which is one of the newer high schools here in Conroe ISD, and it's got fantastic reviews is located in the neighborhood too. So you can live here and from kindergarten through high school, still have that nice walkability to some really highly rated public schools. Who's ready to check out some houses? Well, before we pop in, I wanna give you a lay of the land as far as what your options are with the different builders. There's currently only two builders actually building homes. And so you're gonna have Toll Brothers and then TriPoint Homes, which is who we're gonna check out first. Each of them are gonna build four different products. They've got 50 foot lots, 60 foot, 70 foot, and then those big boys, those 80 foot lots. And I think you're gonna notice that as opposed to a lot of these other master plan communities, these are some really high end finishes, even in their smaller size products. These, this community doesn't offer that starter home like some of the others. Their prices are gonna start in the high fours, really around $500,000 and get up over a million dollars very quickly. But I think you'll notice that with that price tag comes some really, really nice finishes. As far as the tax rate goes, the tax rate I would say is on par for what you'd expect in a master plan community at 3.18%. And then the HOA, which is gonna give you access to all those amazing amenities that we showed you, comes in right at $1,450. So now that you have the lay of the land, let's go check out our first house. Now we just walked into TriPoint's 60 foot model. Now their 50 foot product and 60 foot product are right next to each other, but the 60 foot's a little bit prettier. And so their homes are gonna start on the smaller side, around 2,400 square feet, but they're gonna get as big as 4,000 square feet. And so this 60 foot model home actually is their 4,000 square foot product. And right when you walk in, the first thing you notice is just how big it really is. It's got these massive vaulted ceilings in the living area. And one thing that I like about TriPoint is they actually have a very modern design touch. So when you walk into most of their homes, you're gonna realize they've got really clean lines, right angles, and everything is just a nice clean color palette. Now this home as it stands, is actually a five bedroom. It's got plenty of space for a big family and it even has a three car garage. It's got multiple configurations. So you could have a home office instead of a fifth bedroom, or you could even put the home office up in the front of the house. And upstairs, you're going to have a game room, which is just even more room for the kids to have their space to play. And you have a media room. Who doesn't want to sit down in a cozy room and watch movies with the family? And there's actually one feature that you might not notice at first glance. They have a hidden safe room. It's behind a bookshelf right at the top of the stairs and they've got it set up for the kiddos, but I can think of a lot of really cool ideas to use with that space. Now, as you come back downstairs, a few more touch points, you've got these massive sliders. These are really high end finishes in these homes. You've got real wood floors and that brings me on to price. A home like this isn't cheap, but you're getting what you pay for. This 4,000 square foot model home as it stands right now with all these bells and whistles is still coming in right at $800,000. So this is a good example of what you can get in their 60 foot product. We just popped next door and we're in the Toll Brothers 60 foot model home, which as you can tell actually isn't even completed yet. We got exclusive access, but what I really wanted to highlight was some of these higher end features and finishes that Toll Brothers is known for. I told you they are known to be America's luxury builder and you can see it in their detail work. Even though this is a model home, you can expect this level of detail, at least having the option to build it or include it in homes when you build with Toll Brothers. And this isn't even their biggest product yet. We still have some more to see here in a second, but I just wanted to walk you through and show you, you've got options for upgraded appliances with them as a builder, upgraded vent hoods, and the list goes on. Even the ceilings have the beams and you got just a lot of really finer touch points that you're not going to get with some of the other builders. Now that is going to come with a price. You can expect that a comparable square footage Toll Brothers home is going to be a little bit more expensive than TriPoint, but at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. We have arrived. We are in the 80 foot TriPoint model home and this place is massive. This is a huge 
ranch style home and it's in these 80 foot products that you can really build larger one stories and that's exactly what they've done with this model home now they have two story options in these 80 foot products but i was really excited to show you a massive one story because you don't get them a lot in master plan communities but you have it with this home right here so this is just around 3800 square feet and you have a massive footprint it's four bedrooms and then you still have a bonus game room off of this main living room but one thing that i love is just how open this open concept living room is you've got the kitchen that flows seamlessly with this dining table that seats 10 people and it probably could even be bigger if they wanted it to you've got a home office here and then it just flows seamlessly over into these sliders you get this indoor outdoor lifestyle this slider just takes up the entire backside of the home and it opens up to a covered patio and it's all these finer details you see the wood finishing on the ceilings in this patio you got plenty of room to hang out watch the games out in the backyard and then if i were building this home i'm also going to build a pool which you can easily do here in this neighborhood now the primary suite is really well appointed and then you have a massive and i mean massive walk-in closet with his and hers side with plenty of built-ins and if you're a big car guy, you have four garage bays here. You've got a three car tandem, and then you've got this kind of pull through at the front of the house where you pull under and you've got a little courtyard. You could put a basketball goal there. It's just a really, really cool design for a home. So you can get 80 foot products with TriPoint starting around the $800,000 price point. And then if you deck out their largest product, which is actually right around 5,000 square feet, you can get just up over a million dollars. Last but not least, we are in the Toll Brothers 70 foot model home, and they're actually building two new 70 and 80 foot model homes that aren't quite ready to show you yet, but as soon as they are, we will be the first to show you. But we're in their 70 foot product, and this place is sweet. This is a 4,500 square foot, two story, five bedroom home, and this place is tricked out. I'm talking everywhere that you could add a detail, they have one. They've got real wood floors, they've got rock going up the walls with electric fireplaces, they've got gorgeous kitchen cabinetry that goes all the way almost up to the top of the ceiling. They even have exposed brick in the whole upstairs game room. But some of the things that I love about this home is it gets a ton of natural light. What they did is they actually created this courtyard right in the middle of the house that brings in a lot of sun. So it's kind of a secondary outdoor areas. And then you've got these huge sliders from the kitchen and from the living room that open up into a huge covered patio. And this, this covered patio is probably twice the size of what you would even expect in a home like this. They've got an office with, it looks like 18 foot cathedral ceilings in the office, a three car garage, and as I mentioned, it's five bedrooms. So you've got a guest bedroom downstairs and then three rooms for the kiddos tucked away upstairs with a huge game room, plenty of room for the kids to hang out. And it's even got a media room. So you literally have every space you could possibly think of in a home. And don't worry, if you're watching this, you're probably the one buying the home. The primary suite is huge as well. And so this home as it stands is 4,500 square feet it would probably come in just over a million dollars. Now, they're gonna start in their 70 foot products with a one story around 3,300 square feet and their 80 foot products are gonna go up to a massive 6,000 square foot two story home. So you've got plenty of different floor plan configurations. You've got six floor plans in the 70 foot product and six floor plans in the 80 foot product. So you're gonna see prices ranging in their 70 foots right around the $800,000 mark for their smallest floor plan and then they're going to get up to that 1.2 1.3 million for that massive 6,000 square foot family home. Well, it happened again. I fell in love with another home and now I want it. And this one's beautiful, but this neighborhood is awesome. If you're wanting that master plan community that's literally right next to the woodlands that has tons of shopping at the front of it and even has the schools inside of the neighborhood that has a more luxurious feel to it, then I would not overlook Woodson's Reserve. And if you're not familiar enough with the Woodlands, check out our video on the Woodlands. Get more familiar with it, and then you'll realize how great of an opportunity this is. And like always, if you're thinking about moving to Houston, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas.